engines, 2.5, 167 horsepower, 3.6, 249 horsepower. Frankly, there has never been a stir about this car in our country. Everyone envied from a distance, because even at a time when this model was relevant in car dealerships, they asked for almost $50,000 for it. And for that kind of money then you could pick up a well-equipped medium-sized crossover. Nevertheless, the thoroughbred all-wheel drive, Japanese, still has its own audience. This happened largely due to the excellent driving performance of the station wagon, with increased ground clearance to 213 mm, and an enviable internal volume. An impressive 256-liter trunk, with the rear seats folded down, turned into a clearing capable of accommodating 1726 liters. Just a giant. In addition, the reputation of the car with reliable engines and transmissions played a positive role. Under the hoods of the Outback up to 100,000 kilometers, something abnormal rarely happens. However, as such, we were offered only two motors. Base, petrol 167 horsepower aspirated. 2.5 liters with a manual gearbox or CVT to choose from. There are no so-called bottlenecks in the motor and transmissions. The main drawback attributed to Subaru's opponents in general is the allegedly unbelievable price tag for replacing spark plugs. In fact, everything is not so scary. The main thing is that the service where the candles will be changed has the necessary candle key. Otherwise, there are no problems with the motor. Oil consumption is minimal. From replacement to replacement, after 10,000 kilometers, the difference on the probe cannot be determined by eye. There are not many cars on the market with the top end 3.6 liter six cylinder engine, 249 horsepower, and an automatic. It was expensive, and fuel consumption was high. There are few statistics on the resource and failures of variators. They prove to be quite reliable, the number of breakdowns is insignificant, and repairs are simpler and cheaper than in the case of torque converter machines. Subaru is helped in part by the fact that the company produces CBTs on its own. It is easier for them to monitor the quality and make timely amendments to the design, if it requires it. In normal operating conditions, the CBTs do not need an oil change, but when working for wear, mountain roads, towing, very low temperatures, the recommended interval is 45,000 km. In principle, there are no problems with the mechanics. Here you might think that the Outback is the perfect car that does not cause any hassle and negative emotions. This is not true. With many pluses, complaints from station wagon owners still come. Complain about the weak paintwork. If the galvanized body itself does not suffer from corrosion, then the varnishing is easily scratched and very quickly covered with a mesh in vulnerable places. There is a more serious claim to the body. Many confirm its lack of torsional rigidity. This is clearly noticeable, even sometimes audible, when driving off-road. By the way, with sound insulation here, too, far from everything is in order. Many owners even solved this issue on their own. However, this is a common problem for Subaru. Interior plastic oak. Silver elements, those that look like aluminum, are easily scratched, play, and creak on the go. But the leather is of high quality, the seats do not rub for a long time and do not jam. The weak point is the leatherette-covered armrest. Its coating is noticeably less wear-resistant than seat upholstery. And this is clearly visible. However, there is a lot of space in the cabin, especially at the back, and this atones for all possible misunderstandings. We do not dare to discredit the suspension. She does her job honestly and has no weaknesses. As well as brakes, if they are serviced in a timely manner, of course. But you can already make claims to electrical equipment. Even on runs up to 100,000 kilometers, the climate system can turn off. Not uncommon, the replacement of the motor. At some point, the hatch begins to open tightly, it needs lubrication. Well, many complain about the weak regular music for such an expensive car. Moreover, they blame both the head unit and the speakers. And in cold weather, the front seat cushions warm up very slowly. In a word, petty. However, when talking about Subaru, you should keep in mind that the price tags even for trifling components will certainly not please you. For example, a conventional steering wheel position sensor, the malfunction of which is determined by the absence of a sound signal, can pull on $150, which is quite sensitive these days. Suspension. They often complain about the knock of the steering rack on runs of about 30,000 kilometers. However, it does not always indicate a malfunction. In many ways, these are design features tailored for handling. 
This is how the manufacturer himself explains the knock. The rail, however, was changed under warranty. But during the repair, it turns out that the articulation of the gear rack pair and the connection of the steering rods with the rack are suffering. Transmission. Transmission brains do not like ragged driving with frequent gas slash brake changes. There is a noticeable delay in the reaction to the gas. Then, to compensate for it, the brains begin to keep the engine at high speeds. By the way, not everyone is aware that when reversing, the Outback has only front-wheel drive. Engine. Some servicemen claim that in the fourth-generation Outback, the burnout of the cylinder head gasket is considered a frequent occurrence. And this happens on the threshold of 100,000 kilometers of run. The thesis, however, is debatable. But everyone is completely unanimous that the timing chain loves exceptionally high-quality oil. Body. At speed, windows are best opened in pairs. If one window is open, then an unpleasant low-frequency vibration of the air is felt. By the way, none of the Japanese equipment is provided with factory tinting. But for cars from the American market, assembled in the USA, this option is available. Electronics. You cannot turn off the engine, but leave the necessary equipment on. The button turns everything off at once. The mirror settings are not memorized along with the driver's seat settings. Not the entire rear wiper area is heated. The filaments at the top of the glass are an antenna, not heated. This strip of glass, 8 centimeters, thaws extremely reluctantly. 